Hendrix Nebula. The hit mobile game Terra Genesis was all about taking a new world and bringing it to life over time, from a barren wasteland to a verdant paradise. But before we can achieve a new Earth, humans must first learn to adapt and survive in those original, inhospitable climates. Extreme temperatures, unbearable pressure, and storms of dust or geomagnetic pulses unlike anything ever experienced before. We must withstand all of it if we are to make new homes for humanity. Those first moments, the first rockets, the first settlements, the first sunrises and sunsets will be critical not only to our future as a spacefaring species, but our ultimate survival in this universe. Before our giant leap comes our first small steps. Before we etch our story into the echelons of time in a new world, we must first bear witness to its magnificent emptiness. Before we make history, we must first make landfall. Available on iOS and Android. Okay, Molly. Yes. I have something I want to teach you about today. Oh, oh, oh I'm ready for a new wrinkle on the brain. <laughs> hit it with me. <laughs> hit, hit it at me. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to guess what we're going to talk about. And then... And I then, love a game. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, so the topic of today is something that is all around us all the time. I know what it is. I already know what it you is. You already know what it is? Yes. What it's is it? love. No. No. Yes, uh, that's true, but that's not yeah. what we're talking about today. Okay. Okay. Fair. Uh, I'll give you another hint. Um, okay. What, Molly, what's your favorite color? Mustard yellow. First of all, that is very specific. Second of all, hmm. our topic today sort of has to do with your favorite color. No way. Stop Ooh. it right now. Oh my gosh. Well, I know there's not a hot dog all around me, so I got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> mm. Our third hint for the day is that you can create them on your own, but they also are created on their own. What? <laughs> so what? vague. <laughs> so vague. And the last hint for today's topic is this is how most of the food we eat comes about. <gasps> Does this have to do with photosynthesis? Sort of. The sun? Sort of. <gasps> Sunscreen? N not really. <laughs> you sort of the energy? Kinda. You're in oh. the ballpark. Okay. Oh, we're at, a, so the hot dogs at no, the ballpark? No, sorry, that was a misleading thing okay, to say. Okay, okay, yep, I was going to say I forgot my hat. Um. Okay. Do you give up? Do you give up? Do you give up? No, I want to guess one more. I want to guess one more. I want to guess one more. Um. I have a feeling, uh -oh. I have a feeling that this is about plants <gasps> today. Can you be more specific? specifically speaking how we get oxygen from plants oh that was really close ah oh, man how we get food from I'm, plants i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna say you guessed the topic wait, wait, wait. we've got a winner <laughs> oh my goodness what did i win more you facts get to learn <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a science Okay, this is amazing. So it's today's, plants? Today's topic is how do seeds become plants? Wow. Crazy. That is very interesting to me because I have no idea. I love it. Name You're as, gonna plant name that as knowledge many seeds in my brain. as you can right now. Go. Sunflower. Soy. Seed. <laughs> yeah. That's that one. Sunflower. Soy. Sesame. A soybean. A soybean. Soybean. Is a seed. Soybean. Yeah. Is that a seed or a bean? A legume? It's a, a beans. Beans are seeds. Are they really? Yeah, dude. Stop it right now because I'm learning Swear. too much. Swear okay, Z's. let me try two more seeds. Ready? Yes. Chia and, okay. and, um, oh, I know. Strawberries have little seeds. Oh, they do. Or are those little pores like when you have no, little. No, those are seeds. Strawberry those are seeds. Strawberry seeds. Strawberry seeds. Popcorn, <laughs> beans, peas. Popcorn is my acorn, favorite seed. Dang it. Rice is a seed. Did Stop you know that? It. No, I thought it was a grain. Is a grain a seed? A rice say, is a am seed. Am I eating granola or what am I eating? So seeds come in all different shapes and sizes. That's the point. But okay. 
the thing that links them all together is that a seed has three parts. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for, hold on, let me get my notes. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the first part of the seed is called the outer shell, Ooh, which is also I, called <gasps> the seed coat. Wow, I was just gonna say, I feel like I wear one of those in the winter time, you an do. outer shell. Or you, in the winter time, are basically a seed. I'm a seed. You got your coat on. Plant me, plant the me second... in my bed <laughs> with covers. <laughs> the second part of a seed is a little tiny baby plant inside the seed called the embryo. He, no, are you yeah. kidding me right Promise. now? Promise, swearsies. Promise. That's where that we are all. The world is all. It's everything the same starts thing. as everything an Everything's embryo. connected. That's cute. Crazy, right? That's very crazy. So we got the seed coat. We got the little tiny baby plant inside the seed called the embryo. Hey, and how then, do you call for an embryo to come your way? How? You go, Embry, yo. <laughs> All right, moving wah, along. Wah, <laughs> wah. Uh, <laughs> my go uh, my dream would be for any time we do a sound effect for Rachel just to add in the actual sound effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And then the last part of the seed is food inside the seed called <gasps> the endosperm. Okay, so we've got the uh, um the outer the outer so what, shell. Yeah, what are or the, the three coat? what are the three parts of the seed, Molly? Let me refer to my notes. <laughs> We've got first part, outer outer shell or coat. Yeah. Second part, we've got the embryo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and the third part we have <laughs> is the endosperm. Not the startosperm, but the, the endosperm. endosperm. Exactly. And what is that part? What is that part? It's the part that's the little food yummies inside. Yeah, it's the little seed food yummies. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. So the thing that cool, the really, 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 the really cool <laughs> thing about seeds is that every part of the seed has very important jobs. Okay. So the first <laughs> important job of each part of the seed is the seed coat that we mentioned. It's that shell on the outside of the seed. The shell Protector. protects the baby plant inside the seed. You got it, Molly. Cute, See, you know about cute, this cute, more cute. than you think you do. I didn't. It's funny because when we talk about it and we slow it down, then I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you know mm -hmm. what else the shell does to protect the little baby plant inside? Um, does it keep it warm? It keeps it from not drying out so close. Yeah. Oh, wow. It keeps it nice and moist. But the seed coat also has super sensing powers. Hmm? And it has special chemicals inside the coat that know when the seed is ready to start growing. How cool is that? That's so cool. It's almost like an alarm clock. Kind of. The other crazy fact... And this is another wrinkle for your brain, Molly. Wrinkle for my brain. Yeah. The special chemicals inside the super sensing powers that the coat has also know if the seed is upside down or not. Wait Isn't a minute. Isn't that wild? So now think about this. When okay. you eat trail mix, do you like trail mix, I Molly? I love trail mix. I love trail mix. Love it. When mm -hmm. you eat trail mix, you've got seeds in there, but those seeds don't grow. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, like if I dropped them when I was on the trail, I've often been like, oh, I should pick them up because I don't want to plant some foreign thing in this forest, but actually I don't have to worry about that. No, because most of the things in trail mix have already had the shell or the seed coat removed. And when you take the coat off of a seed, it's like putting that seed to sleep. It's going to bed. It's huh. going to sleep for a long time. And so it doesn't, it never knows when it's time to grow because that coat was taken off. I have another fun fact about sleeping seeds. Oh, I want to know about that because I love to sleep. It's true. So if you take the coat off a seed, a seed can go to sleep for hundreds or thousands of years. Without like growing. Rumpelstiltskin? I have a question though, Max. I have an answer for you. Well, now I love sunflower seeds and I okay. do like to chew on the shell, but what if I accidentally spit a sunflower seed out in its shell in a forest? Would it grow? Great question. Mm -hmm. So every seed needs three primary things to get it ready to grow. Do you know what those things are? TLC? TLC. Tender, loving care or exactly. crazy, sexy, cool. What? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Oh, TLC. Oh, I got it. <laughs> um, but for a seed to grow into a plant, it needs three things. First, it needs water. <laughs> I exactly. love water. You love water. You're the biggest water fan I've ever met. I Sometimes I'm nervous I'm going to slip and fall because I love water like a waterfall. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs>
The second thing a seed needs to grow into a plant is the right temperature. I was going to say sunlight. That is the third thing. No, no way. Really? Yeah, that's the third. The three wow. things that a plant needs, a seed needs to grow into a plant is water, the right temperature, and the right amount of light. Do you know why this makes sense to me? Why? When I, I like plants in my house and when I go, I like look up, okay, these plants all have their own little character traits. Like this one needs to be in direct sunlight. So I base my plant buying off of where in the house they're going to be living. It's probably very smart. Very, I mean, <clears throat> I have been called smart several times. Molly. <laughs> it's not good to brag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so it needs those three things. And then once the seed has those three things... Like it's planted in some soil, like it's in the ground, it's ready to grow. The baby plant or the embryo gets the signal from the super sensing powers in the seed coat that, <laughs> hey, little baby, it's time to grow. <gasps> uh oh. Can you do an Elvis impersonation and say that as Elvis? Hey, little baby, it's time to grow. <laughs> right. He really I'm emphasized so his happy. tease. I was so happy about that. <laughs> Um, here, here, pop quiz question wrinkle for your brain <gasps> what is the growing process called photosynthesis no it's a it's a it's a gross word oh not, not really but it kind of sounds gross oh like you want me just to tell sticky you sticky tack yeah Ooh, the growing process for a seed into a plant is called sticky tack no i'm just kidding it's called <laughs> Germination. Oh, I did know germination. Ew, I can wash my hands so I can get the germination off. But really, it, germination is good. Germs are bad. Or some yes. germs can be good. They help build our immune system. That's you another know, it's episode. It's kind of a roll of the dice. Yeah, yeah. Germination step one. The seed coat lets in some water through the coat to get into the baby plant inside the seed. Then... Okay. Step two, the baby plant eats the food inside the seed. <laughs> that was, that was amazing. <laughs> Step three, the food gives the baby plant energy, and then the baby plant eats more, and then it gets more energy, and then it eats more, and it gets more energy until it kicks a foot out of the shell and into the ground. And do you know what that's called? Germination. Yes, but do you know what the foot is called? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the root of the plant. You just answered my question because I was going to say, is it always called a little baby plant or does it grow into something else? It grows into a root. A little baby plant grows into a root. Well, a baby plant grows into a adult Big plant. Big plant with yeah. a job and a career. <laughs> and, and taxes. <laughs> and taxes. <laughs> So do you remember I mentioned that the, the seed coat has those super sensing powers and it can even know if it's upside down or not? Yes. So when the baby plant eats enough of the food and gets enough of the energy and kicks its foot through the coat, it will always grow downwards into the ground. So whether the seed is upside down, whether the oh. seed is on its side, it doesn't matter because the root will always grow down. Isn't that wild? So that's why when people say stay rooted, into the ground plant stay your feet in the ground and stay rooted and stay rooted and really love yourself okay so it kicks its foot into the ground that's the root and then the oh. root continues to grow into the ground looking for more water for more food to keep the baby plant growing strong do you know what happens next what happens next <laughs> so once the root is strong enough and it can hold the plant into the ground and keep it from getting blown over by the wind or anything like that, mm -hmm. a shoot mm -hmm. will then pop up from the top side of the seed and grow up towards the surface of the ground. Do you know wow. what it's looking for when it grows up towards the surface sunlight. of the ground? It's looking for it's sunlight. It's looking for sunlight. Bing, exactly. Bing, 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 bing. So the shoot will make its way up through the soil and into the air above where it's planted, and this plant has officially sprouted. <gasps> Wow. So once the plant has officially sprouted, it will then grow leaves, which absorb more sunlight, make more food for the plant, and then keep allowing the plant to eat and keep growing. With the right amount of water and the mm -hmm. right amount of sunlight, the mm -hmm. plant will keep growing until it can then make seeds of its of own. Of its own. That's a cute story. 
I would oh, it's sing, real life. I would sing the circle of life, but we definitely can't afford it. <laughs> we can't afford it, but we, we can do it. pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. We can sing different things. <laughs> there are many types of seeds. Pumpkin, flax, and chia to name three. They have the same anatomy. There are three parts to every seed. Every seed has an outer shell called a coat. And then there's a baby plant inside the seed called an embryo. Oh, oh. And lastly, the endosperm, the food inside the seed, helps the plant grow. There are many types of seeds like sunflower and sesame they have the same anatomy there are three parts to every seed but do you know how they grow how do they grow germination is a growing process of a seed in order to some things that the seed will need water the right temperature and the right amount of sun allows the seed to germinate oh how fun there are many types of seeds like hemp grape pomegranate and poppy they have the same anatomy Nebula.